All right, guys, I am going to try to move the RV from there to there by myself. This will be my first time backing it alone, and I'm a little nervous, but it's something that's going to have to happen. I have backed it in here before. I've just had a man on the ground to be eyes and ears. So hopefully um, I don't document myself crashing the RV right now. Mostly that went bad. So the reason we were parked on this street is because some of David's aunts and uncles also come up to the lake house here and they were gonna be staying here for the weekend and they have a boat and a boat trailer so they needed to back out of the driveway. So we went ahead and parked the RV up there by the road. And then today in the middle of the week, I decided to come move it back and then also take on a small little project just to um, update the shower area. We have a new shower curtain and um, just some new hooks to add to the RV and make it a little bit more ours. But um, I'll tell you what, I don't think I'll be backing this RV in again by myself. Um, it was really hard. It did not go great. Um, I did end up against a tree at one point, which is not great. Um, didn't, I mean, it just, the awning kissed it a little bit. Didn't rip the awning, but um, you can see a little spot where I probably nicked the awning. Um, so, whoops. Luckily, David's not that mad at me, but he also hasn't seen it yet. So maybe we'll just keep it a secret and see if he notices. So I went ahead and took the awning out to kind of like inspect it a little bit. And I don't know if you guys can see, but like right there, there's like a little bit of wear. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but you can see just like a little bit of sunlight coming through. I think that is where I grazed the tree. So, whoops. So the tree that I grazed is that one up there. Um, Cause as you can see, it's like the narrowest of the driveway. Um, so a little bit of a life lesson. Definitely not great. Not proud of this moment, but it happened. So what we're planning on doing in here is just replacing this white curtain right here. Um, this was the white curtain that came with it. And as you can see, it is just um, a little bit stained. And, um, you know, with two kids, it doesn't really have a liner and um, they splash a lot. Um, they also store their trucks in here. But, um, yeah, we're planning on replacing that. And um, hopefully... This place is really gonna start feeling like ours. All right guys, so we have gone ahead and done it. We've changed out the curtain and now this is what we have. We also um, did get a liner. So there's a liner that now so that the kids won't splash as much hopefully. Um, but yeah, we are excited. Sawyer asked why we did not get a prettier one. So we'll see how long we keep this one before we need something that is more, quote, beautiful. What do you think, Fritz? That's one that has a picture of a unicorn uh -huh. across it, stands an up and galloping. Oh, that would be galloping quite unicorn. unique. With a fairy on top with a magical neck. Yeah. So these screws were also really stripped. So in the future, uh, we plan on getting some new ones. That's why they're not always screwed in. Um, bringing it some new ones so that we can get this down more easily in the future. The thing we're thinking about doing is just redoing this bathroom a little bit. It's just really standard the way it comes. Um, but I just think some like white walls in here would just look really good, make it look nice and clean. And um, I don't know about you guys, but just having a clean bathroom is something that appeals to us. It might just also make it feel a little bit, I don't know, make it feel bigger, um, but just give it a fresh new facelift and make it really feel a little bit more like ours. I've also ordered some shelving to go in here to try to organize our towels a bit better um, and then overall just other things a bit better but those haven't come in yet. There's a few things I'm waiting on to really kind of revamp this place a little bit more but starting with a curtain 
for the shower is not a bad way to start. Post project lake fun. as we uh, changed our shower curtain and also went down and played by the lake. Um, stay tuned for more renovations, hopefully on the bathroom next. I would like to see that painted white. And then also um, just we have a few miscellaneous storage things coming in that'll hopefully make RV life a little bit easier. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any advice on things that work well for RVs, we would love to hear it. Any kind of um, renovation or conversion tips that you say are totally worth it, we would love to hear more. So definitely comment below and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys. Bye.